This is my dyno car. Let's go ahead and connect the power, one to the motor and one to everything else. And I'm still trying to figure out why the servos twerk like that. It's probably because they cost five dollars. And you're, you're about to hear it boot up in a second here. It plays the Jurassic Park theme song. And on the OLED display in the meantime, you see a little T-Rex animation. Fantastic. Now the OLED display will switch to showing you the IP address that this thing's currently listening on. So you go ahead and pull it up on your web browser and log in. And then you hear this awesome sound. And you'll see the webcam also light up. So now we have live video. Yeah, we're connected and controlling it with an Xbox controller. So it does that, which is awesome. We've got servos for pan tilt. That's kind of the full range. So if I move the stick pretty slowly, it's pretty good resolution in all this. You can move around. How cool is that? Come on, this is awesome. So we've got the RGB LED eyes. You can move everywhere. You can play sounds. Does that? I mean, come on. Come on. Hold on to your butts. Come on. So these are the different eye things it can do. can move the jaw, of course. And you could talk. Can you hear me? Hello. I am T-Rex Car. Did you hear that joke about the vegan T-Rex? Me neither. Because I'm dead. <laughs> and we got two-way audio with WebRTC as the rest of the sounds. Gotta have the Malcolm laugh. Here we go. So I wrote all the code for the throttle and everything, and currently it's limited to like way low throttle, because this thing goes ridiculously fast. But when you're driving it, there's a, you know, a little bit of latency, and you, you need to limit the throttle. So I think I got like 10 or 20% throttle, just for the sake of controllability. <laughs> so that's my dino car. Check the next video for how it all works.